Man, that looks good. Well, that also looks good. Hey guys, my name's Justin. Welcome back to the channel. I know what you're thinking. Is it possible? Is this truly finished? Yes and no. You know how short I feel right now? Are you ready? No. It's not finished. So as you would have seen from the previous video on this, I've gone with the 25 aluminium with the uh, those little connector, quick connector fittings, those little plastic ones. Uh, awesome stuff. I cheated. Okay, I'm going to be honest with that. I actually went out to Maisie's Plastics and I gave them all the sizes that I wanted and I had them cut it because I just didn't have time for cutting it. Canvas canopy. Good idea, bad idea. Well, for me, it's a bit of a catch-22. I like it because I can always take the canvas off. I still got the cattle rails. I can load up equipment. I can take off this back door. Um, I can do everything like that. So it's a, a multi-use system for me. Um, I can keep my fridge in on one side. I can take this other panel out. Uh, well, at least that's the idea. If that doesn't work, I'm just going to have a, a solid piece in here. Um, it is a bit dark inside here at night time, naturally as it would be, even if it was a normal canopy. So for that, I've installed two of these Lumino LEDs. Uh, one is over here, so I can just reach up, get that out. The second one is in the corner here. And this is gonna be a portable unit. So if I'm working outside at night, I'll be able to take this, put it on the side of the car, uh, put it where I need to at least within arm's reach. I'll probably put uh, get an extension cable for this um, You know and then at least I can Pop it wherever I need to um, That's a nice little Addition there. So I'm just busy running with that theory uh, Compressor I want to put in the side over here. Right. Let's crawl into the back here oh, You know, I just want to say everyone that laughs at me for being short I feel sorry for all you tall people because this it's not an easy job. So what I've done over here, I've got my 100 amp hour battery, my fuse box, and my dual battery system in the back there. Is it how I want it? Not really. The whole idea was to have the battery on that side and then to have the compressor this side, but I'm, I'm messing around with that, putting the compressor at the back of the car. It's easier, it's more accessible. Um, I might end up putting a bigger battery inside here. That's I'm just testing this theory out. A lot of guys put water tanks over there, um, but I didn't plan on running a, a water tank in this vehicle, or at least not at this stage. Um, I think that's one of the benefits of building your own system is that you can customize it as you want, whenever you want. I still don't know what I'm going to do with the kitchen. Either I put it on the side here and I can get little hooks. My dad's already made some hooks for my kitchen unit to hang on the cattle rails. Or I might just move the fridge over, put the fridge on a drop slide, put the uh, kitchen unit then also on a slide out so you can slide them both out in and out like that. Um, that might work out. But for now, we're just gonna try it out and just see how it works and how well it goes from there. So what is next on the system? Well, nothing for now. I wanna test it out thoroughly. I wanna put these boxes in. Um, the ones that start all the way to the back, I'm just gonna put on a piece of string so at least I can pull them out, uh, mount everything else up on there. But I think for now, it's starting to take shape. For the canvas, uh, which I got from these bucky trolleys which by the way this thing was in such a good special i couldn't say no to it check them out they should still be having a special going on i know they said they're going to try keep the special going for as long as possible and believe me it's a special especially if you've been watching the, the price increases on steel get a hold of these guys and see if they have some for you i opted to 
have little windows installed. Which is quite cool. It does still have a little bug mesh on there. Which is also why I'm not too sure on what I'm going to do for the kitchen unit. Um, because obviously I'm going to have to then make a hole through that. And I just I don't really want to do that. Am I entirely happy with this design? Yes, for now. Um, there were a few things that I'm concerned about. And that's more on Isuzu side. Uh, this being a base model means it doesn't have a lock for the tailgate, which if it's closed Boom Not happy with that. So what I have gone and done is I've taken the bolt system that comes over here I've taken that all out. I've put a lock over here to lock these two together I've also went and designed a bracket so that's gonna go on the back of the tailgate up and then onto here so I'm just waiting for that to come back from laser cutters and then I can at least lock the tailgates, but so far, you got to admit, it's looking really good. That's looking amazing. Compared to how it was before, i got to say, the cattle rails have transformed the van entirely. So there we have it. Quick update on the cattle rail and the draw system. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel to check out more things that we have coming up. For those of you that follow me on social media, I hinted that there's a little bit of a change coming up over here, and there is. What I've been doing for the last few weeks is hassling the guys at Vehicle Link Projects with a whole bunch of design ideas that I came up with. And I asked them, you know what? Give me your creative minds. You guys splash together a whole bunch of ideas that I put out there. And I'm telling you, this thing is going to look amazing next week. I really can't wait to unveil that to you guys. So, follow me on social media to get all the updates. And we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.